Hey guys, I think we all as uh, as ham radio operators in the back of our mind have a what would we do if what would we do if uh, the old uh, crap hits the fan or uh, s uh, h t f as we say it in a nice way. Um, what will we do? And I and I try to you know when I go out portable, sometimes I I actually uh, experiment and I I call it urban gorilla portable or what have you, but. Here by the coast, one thing that would really be, and, I, and I've experienced it uh, more than once in my lifetime, is is being hit by a hurricane. And uh, I've seen some bad ones. So what would I do? Well, after the hurricane's over is really the bad part. I mean, get, yeah, the storm's bad with the flooding and the wind or whatever. But sometimes there's, I, I've gone, like, I've gone 17 or 18 days without electricity um, after a Cat 3 storm. So I can only imagine if it, a worse one. So I wonder, what would I do? Well, I, you know, it, the storm's gone, things are subsided, but comms are down, or I needed to, to do some emergency comms. Um, I'd, I'd come down by the water. I know me personally, I could make some really good contacts. Another option I would do, I, I would park my car in a, in a garage. I, I, I've done that and um, go there and then go up to the top of the garage. But I always wondered what would would five watts would five watts work QRP voice SSB. You know, you hear so many people talking about, yeah, well, you know, I'm gonna when when it hits the fan and and the, you know the, all this bad stuff's going on, we're gonna be set up so we can run digital or whatever. And I'm like, man, calm down there, Meal Team Six. You ain't doing nothing. I'm telling you right now, comms are gonna be voice. It's gonna be voice. That's really the important part. So I've got my little um, Zygu X5105 um, 5 watt. I love this radio. I've made some great, I've made some transatlantic, transpacific, that per se, uh, 5 watt uh, QRP contacts with this thing. I love it. What I like about it, it's got a self-contained battery. Everything's right here. So for truly when uh, things, if it hit the fan, things are bad, this would be a great thing to have because I could charge this with a solar panel uh, solar charger. I've got other options or, you know, just keep it charged and then, and use it. The battery lasts quite a while. Um, I do, it's got a, it's B and C and I just put a little, uh, a 239 adapter on it, but it's really my own true radio that I have that I, that I like with a built-in battery. I've always wished that there was a 20 watt, um, like man pack type, Radio. I wish Zygu made one, but they don't. They just. I love my G90, but I wish that came in a compact, uh, you know, with a battery. There is a builder that that has one out there that I am eyeballing big time because uh, I like the thoughts of that. But um, yeah. So I want to just. We're gonna do a little practice today. A little practice run. Now conditions aren't that great. Uh, things are uh, a little bad. Uh, we got some a little bit of a like a G1 electric. Um, geomagnetic things going on here where i'm at it's extremely windy we've got like some storms brewing up here i think later in the day but um i want to see what we can do let's get out here i'm gonna i've got a special antenna one of my favorites i'm gonna put it up and see what we can do with a little five watt uh qrp here right by the uh, salt water stick around So the main thing with low power is getting and taking advantage of and finding every advantage you can in a bad situation. For me living near salt water, that's an advantage. For me living in an urban area with a high rise garage where I could go to the top of them, that's an advantage. That's something you need to plan and think out is find out where you can, what advantages you can give yourself for HF comms should you need them. Now for five watts, <laughs> My advantage is definitely the water. Um, also, I think probably one of the best antennas I could possibly use would be the Ribicoff antenna. So what I'm doing today is I'm building a 25-foot vertical or 7.6-meter vertical um, with the 4 to 1 un-un. And they, uh, I'll take one about uh, a little over 5 meter long, about 17-foot long uh, counterpoise, and I'm going to put it on a floating 
pool noodle and uh, let it kiss the water there and, and get it there to me and then run the coax back into the into the Jeep here. And let's just say uh, and even today, it's not the best of weather, but uh, I want to be protected and inside my vehicle. I don't know if this would be summer, winter or whatever. If it's a hurricane, it's probably going to be hot in summer. But um, yeah, that's trying to give myself an advantage that. Now, what I'm going to be using is my X5105, but I'm going to I'm not real crazy about the sound on this thing, so I'm going to hook up. I've got a little uh, cheap amplified uh, speaker uh, that, that plugs in. I'll put that with it, and um, and we'll see. Hey, big shout out to my friend John uh, N0VTY. He supplied me with this beautiful yellow uh, uh, wire, and uh, he's a good friend of the channel, and it really supports the channel. So thank you, John. Uh, we built this out of 20 gauge, 20 AWG um, wire, as you see there. So. Here we go. Let's go. Uh, let's get this thing fired up and uh, and see if we can make any contacts at all. Five watts. I'm desperate. Conditions aren't good, and I need to make a contact. Let's see if I can do it. Thank you so much, Peter, and thanks for what you're doing. It means a lot to me as well. Um, I'm just 5 watts QRP here in the Norfolk, Virginia Harbor, and I've been listening to you guys. Uh, great, great QSOs there, and uh, it's been wonderful listening in on you. I uh, got you from the harbor. You're sounding okay. I appreciate you logging in, and thank you very much for your comments, Walter. I really appreciate that, and uh, hopefully, as I said, uh, the door is wide open for people to be more aware of the challenge of people on the spectrum with autism. Thanks, Walter. Five watts is doing a good job. He came up to a five and a four. Seventy three, Walter. Have a wonderful day. Hey, thank you so much. Real quick before you go, what is your QTH, if you don't mind? I don't mind. North Port, Long Island, New York, about 50 miles east of New York City. It is town called North Port. Uh, go ahead. Kilo 4 Oscar Golf Oscar QRP. Oscar Golf Oscar uh, QRP, uh, come back. Yes, yeah, Kilo 4 Oscar Golf Oscar. I'm 5 watts, 5 watts QRP in the harbor of Norfolk, Virginia. Sure, we got you to 5 3. Yeah, for QRP, I would imagine that's, uh, that's a challenge. Uh, got you to Kilo 4 Oscar Golf Oscar. Kilo Echo 8 Zulu Whiskey Hotel, the uh, US. 3384 US 3384 and uh, start to rain. Well, I'll take that. I mean, totally just horrendous conditions. Um, can't believe I made a couple contacts, but uh, it was uh, it proved to me that I could be done with five watts if I uh, take advantage of every possible situation I can. What really surprised me, I started, I went everywhere. I called CQ on, I mean, I hunted and then called CQ on uh, a few bands, including the six meter band. I, I went all the way to six with this radio, it's got six meter, uh, just no success. And what really blew me away was the first contact I made was on 40 meters. I mean, it's like 3.30 in the afternoon here right now. So, um, and, and a good 40 meter uh, contact as well. I mean, I'll take it. It's kind of what I was trying to do is that, you know, simulating what would go on and if we were in a situation that would be kind of more of an envis type situation and maybe even would be probably using a different antenna or whatever but to get out kind of just outside the region here um so to get to new york and then came back to 20 and and and, and michigan uh, and that was pretty cool so all in all fun experiment for me it's not exactly what i like to do i like to work dx when i get out but just thought, you know, band conditions, I, I, I saw that we're, you know, I looked and saw the prediction for the afternoon was not going to be good. So I felt like, you know what, let's give it a try. Let's make it as hard as we possibly can and see if we can make a couple contacts. And I did, and I'm, I'm pleased. It was fun. Now, now I got to go find me a better radio. I'm still looking. I love my G90, like I said, but I want something compact with 20 watts. I really am looking hard at that. I got a couple, uh, couple radios in mind. I think it would have been a lot easier and this would be an easier task for me if I had something that was charged up in a box, man packed, ready to go 
all in one with 20 watts, it would really be, it would do much better. But um, hey, I had fun today, and like I said, if I'd have been out here, and the conditions would have been amazing. I think this setup, I could have worked DX or whatever. But it was just all in all, it was the day itself. If you like getting out, operating portable, building antennas, playing with radios, and if just everything uh, HF ham radio, and then please like and subscribe. Until next time, I'm Walt K4 OGO 73, my friends.